To a lot of people, spending a two-week holiday in the north sounds like a fucking joke. But do I look like I'm laughing? Welcome to Hope You Come Up Here, the show that explores two-week holidays in the forgotten towns of the north. This week we're in Ghoul, learning that the north isn't all about flat caps and anti-European rhetoric. Excuse me, I will buy that shirt off you! From its humble beginnings as just a wooden bridge with a man on it, the Aaron Calder Canal transformed Gull into a bustling company town filled with dock workers and visiting seamen. The Aaron Calder even has the illustrious honour of having the local Premier Inn named after it. A lot of people might claim to have hotels named after them, but a lot of the time they're just lying through their teeth. I think if you were to show the workers on the oldest building in Gull, the Lauva Hotel, the names of some of the cocktails served there today, they'd fall straight off their penny farthings and have the cholera knocked right out of them. Flash forward 200 years and Ghoul train station has just had two new vending machines installed. Technology that if you were to show someone from the 1800s, it would absolutely baffle them. In this episode, we'll be unwrapping the past and taking a big bite of Ghoul. Of Ghoul. of Ghoul's history. History is all around us. From the ancient Egyptians to these four pints I've necked earlier. It can be impossible to keep up with everything that's happened. It feels like only yesterday we believed the Earth was a sphere orbiting the sun. Luckily for the people of Ghoul, they've got plenty of historical sites to explore. To learn more about the canal history of Ghoul, we visited the informative and we've been asked to add fun Waterways Museum. Let's see if we can all learn something. Yes. As always, we'll be joined by Terence Smith, the youngest and best mayor in the UK. A mayor so young, you'd be forgiven for thinking he hadn't even heard of history. But Terence has got ghoul running through his veins. So Terence, tell us, what is your best historical fact about ghoul? Hang on, hang on, I'll look, I'll look, I'll look one up. All right. Is that Wikipedia? Yeah. yeah, yeah. <laughs> that in the 60s, Ghoul was twinned with Gibraltar. Ooh, fascinating fact. I personally have recently learned that the Earth is actually flat and that the government have been lying to us. Something that no doubt Terence will find out the higher he climbs up the political ladder. So, Terence, let's have a look at the Waterways Museum and what it's got inside. <laughs> The most iconic symbol of Ghoul's canal trade history are its Tom Puddings. Not puddings in the same way as a panna cotta, or a apple pie, or a rhubarb crumble, or a sticky toffee pudding, or a jelly and ice cream, or a... Um, spotted dick. A spotted dick. So what is a Tom Pudding? Well, we're lucky enough to be joined by historian and canal expert John Duddings to tell us more about Tom Puddings. Hello, Ian. Hello, Mr. Mayor. Hi. So, Tom Pudding, or Tom Puddings, plural, was the name given to the tugboats that operated on the Air and Calder canals. Um, originally uh, started off in 1863 and ran all the way up until 1985. Uh, now 1985 of course was the year we all know that Phil Collins released the seminal album No Jacket Required but <laughs> if Phil was to come and do a shift here on the uh, on the tugboats he very much would require a jacket. That's both maritime protocol and of course it was bitterly bitterly cold. Now um, they were a very efficient and effective means of transporting and transferring both coal from the uh, South Yorkshire coal fields here to the port of Goul and of course um, competed with the railway system for, for many, many years, many, many years. Uh, now onto the fun part, <laughs> or the meat of the information if you'll forgive the pun. Um, so yes. the, name, <laughs> the name Tom Pudding uh, actually uh, derives from the fact that uh, visually they, they looked like a string of black 
puddings. Uh, and also the name of the original um, uh, creator, uh, which uh, I forget. <laughs> Only joking. Of course, his name was Tom. Tom Puddings. Uh, full name Tom Bartholomew, of course, and uh, they were uh, at some point referred to as the Bartholomew Blacks, uh, uh, a name which didn't really stick on, and no doubt these days the PC uh, Brigade would come down uh, on like a, a ton of, well, a ton of coal, a ton of coal. <laughs> A little, little fun fact for you, actually. Some of the locks uh, here in Goal were actually uh, extended, both their length and width, to accommodate both the length and girth, of course, of the, of the Tom Puddings. Mm. Um, by nine th 1913, there were roughly uh, 1,000 uh, Tom Puddings in service, or to be more uh, exact, um, exactly 1,000 Tom, Tom Puddings I in service. <laughs> well, that's very interesting. That's been very interesting, John. Absolute pleasure to meet thank you. you OK, well, thank you very much for joining us, John. John, if you could go back to any point in history, when would it be and why? Well, Ian, I'd have to say uh, I'd go back to four years ago, which was before my wife left me. <laughs> Great stuff. Now, the next building we're going to visit is very much key to the Aaron Calder Canal. It was the first building to be built in the new ghoul the canal created. It's the Lauver Hotel. The Lauver Hotel Previously, the bank's arms is currently the oldest functioning hotel in the UK after the previous one burned down in an accident that had nothing to do with anyone from Ghoul. Ghoul is a town of records. I am in the privileged position of being in the oldest hotel in the UK with the youngest mayor in the UK. Next to the UK's most inland docks. Where else could you get that? I'll tell you. Nowhere! The Lava Hotel is £450 for a week's stay and includes a continental breakfast of toast a l'orange. The Waterways Museum is free to enter or to hire a barge for the day it costs £30 and a £400 deposit refundable on the safe return of the barge. From London, a plane to Doncaster Airport, taxi to Doncaster train station and train ticket to Goole comes in at £340 each way. Alternatively, 85% of hitchhikers in 2016 arrived in the town safely. Make sure you wear a high visibility vest or colour yourself in with highlighter pens. So that's it for episode 2 of Hope You Come Up Here. Next week we'll be looking at the culture of the town and it might surprise you to learn that the North isn't all about gravy drinking competitions and illegal dog fighting. Now we'll end the episode as we always do with a word from the youngest and best mayor in the UK, Terence Smith. Terence, we've been learning about the history of the town of Gaul, but what are you most looking forward to in the future of the town? 2026, when the town turns 200 and I turn 29. I'll drink to that. Cheers. Now it's time for the Hope You Come Up Here competition. And to win a chance to present a segment on the show, simply answer the following question. How do you spell Yorkshire? A. Yorkshire. B. Yorkshire or C. Porkspire <laughs>